Sup guys and welcome to even more Zelda content this week! Yay! Even though it's Pokemon's 20th anniversary and the marketing won't shut up, I am focusing a lot on Zelda because it's also its 30th anniversary, but its marketing isn't so pushy. Though we do have a big Zelda game coming out this year. Anyway, I digress. This is a first look at The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD. Oh my god, it's so pretty! Even looking at it, like, it kind of looks the same, but it just... It's so much brighter, it's so much pretty, though the bridge doesn't look that good, but the background is amazing. Oh, that grass doesn't look very... Anyway, that's enough of me nitpicking the graphics. So, Twilight Princess is a very unusual game to me, because it was my first Zelda game, so I kind of have a certain nostalgia tied to it, making it one of my favorites. Um, though I've heard, like, a lot of people complain about this game, and to be honest, their complaints aren't without merit. I agree with all of them, but for some reason... That doesn't stop me from like loving this game so much. But as I said, I think that's mainly due to nostalgia, as I haven't really played this game in a very, very, very long time since like 2009. And this part is epic, I'm gonna be quiet. <laughs> the Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD. I'm nothing, just go, and let's take a first look at it. Is that an intro to my first look? It's not usually. We're gonna play on the Wii U gamepad, though I do have a pro controller. There's no point, um, uh, doing- using a pro controller when I have a, um, when- when I have a, uh, when I have a gamepad, which you, you can use for the inventory. Um, so between normal and hero mode, uh, I wanted to do hero mode when I first decided to get this game. The problem is, the world for some reason goes to the Wii version then, and I've never played Twilight because- um, I'm not sure if you know, but the GameCube version and the Wii version are completely mirrored. And I've only played the Wii version, so I want to have a different experience with the GameCube version. That was the- well, that was one of the first things that made me want to get the game. Tell me, do you ever feel a strange sadness as dust falls? They say it's only time when our world intersects with theirs. One thing I really miss about Twilight Prince is I love the font. Of the text, it's so freaking pretty. The only time we could feel the lingering regrets of the spirits who have left our world. That is why loneliness always pervades the hour of twilight! But enough talk of sadness, I have a favor to ask of you, Link. I was supposed to deliver something to the royal family of Hyrule the day after tomorrow. Yes, it was a task set by me, the mayor, but... Would you go in my stead? I don't know why there's an A button in the top right corner. I don't think that was ever in Twilight Princess. It's kind of self-explanatory to press A. Why is it there? You have never been to Hyrule, right? Nope. Link has never been to Hyrule in any Zelda game. Except for, like, a lot of them. In the kingdom of Hyrule, there's a great castle. And around it is Castle Town, a community far bigger than our little village. And far bigger than Hyrule is the rest of the world's created... The rest of the world the gods created. I can't read. You should look upon it all with your own eyes. It is getting late. We should head back to the village. I will talk about the mayor about th this matter. And that's a close shot of his sexy face. I'm, um, Link is objectively sexy, okay? I, I've not attracted him or anything.
Hey, Link! You there? No, I'm not there, though I am. Um, one thing I want to say is I don't get why people... Um, I'll get into that later. Hey, you don't mind helping me herd the goats? This is... See, they ain't listening to me lately. A big problem with Twilight Princess is its opening. And for some reason, they um, have you herd goats, even though it has nothing to do with the gameplay for the rest of the game. I don't know why it's in this game. Hey, where's Perry? Do do be do be do ba do be do be do ba do be. Apona. Okay, now we get into actually moving, and oh my god, it's so relief to play Twilight Princess with a free roaming camera. Though the up and down like is weird. I prefer to just go up and down, not zoom in and out. Oh my god, I want to run. Too bad I carry. Okay, wrong way. I want to run like Skyward Sword. I'm so used to playing Skyward Sword. I want to run, but I can't, though. Now that I, now that I think about it, the walking speed in Twilight Princess is the same speed as the running from Skyward Sword. I never noticed that before. And oh my god, even these rocks look so freaking pretty. I don't get why um people think uh, Twilight Princess HD looks outdated because it comes out came out this year. It really doesn't. It actually looks like... It actually looks like a uh, pretty legit, in my opinion. But what doesn't look legit is... The sand! No, not the sand. The sand looks fine. Again, this game actually looks so good. I don't get why people... It looks so much better than, um, uh, Wind Wake. I mean, than, um, Twilight Princess Wii. Like, at first, I couldn't tell the difference, but looking at it from actually playing looks so weird. Oh, hi, Link! Yeah, she doesn't look fair. Actually, she looks better than she did in the trailer. In the trailer, she was like, Ugh, when I first saw her, but now she looks normal. I washed a Pona for you. This is our de facto love interest, except spoilers. Nothing really, unlike Skyward Sword, nothing really comes out out of this romance. It's really kind of brushed to the side after certain events happen. And we'll talk to her. A Pona works really hard, so I thought she deserved a treat. Oh, but listen, Link, could you do something for me? Can you use a piece of grass to play the song for me? You know, the one opponent likes. And if we play this song, it might sound familiar to you. It didn't sound familiar to me. <laughs> That's right. It's the same melody that you use on the ocarina to summon an opponent in Ocarina of Time. I didn't act that actually didn't occur to me when I first played this game because I never played Ocarina of Time before Twilight Princess. But now I get the reference. Really, this game is kind of filled with... um. Ocarina of Time references and Easter eggs. Like, it's like this game might as well be called, Hey, it's Ocarina of Time, like our game, because that's pretty much what this game was meant to be. Because in development, it was made to have like a realistic like, Ocarina of Time art style, because they tried to go something different with Wind Waker, and people didn't really like that. So, like, fine, we'll give you freaking Ocarina of Time again. Then, um, there's the parts with it you could tell the developers weren't really like interested in this game or sparked by creativity in my opinion which we won't get to later because we'll never get there and where the hell am i going and i forgot how how weird it is to control the opponent like she goes some ways where i don't want her to go but yeah um the thing is um uh i still really like this game but wind waker so much better and it sucks that they made this game essentially because they felt obligated to instead of something they wanted to do that's why zelda u is gonna be even better though probably won't sell too well this is the highest selling Zelda game, I believe. And this is probably the most, like, least creative Zelda game. Though it does have the wolf, so I guess that's something, though. Where do I go, an opponent? Why are you so freaking frisky to control? Like, we have to go goat herding? We could talk to people, but that's that's too much work. Let's just go goat herding. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what we need. Because we need an opponent to go goat herding. Again, this is a really, really weird, pointless minigame. I don't know why it's a thing. Like, it's a... Don't get me wrong, it's pretty fun, but... Nothing comes out out of out of this mini game. And welcome to Orden Ranch. Um, uh, the thing, another thing I like about Twilight Princess is uh, a lot of the it like a lot of the provinces and regions are taken in Skyward Sword, like the Laneru and Elden that was all invented. But Orden is never in um, Skyward Sword. Um, they won't we'll start to ask you, bud. But how about you and opponent Erd him into the barn real quick? We ain't got much time. Do you think you can do it for me? Sure, why not? Well, I guess we have no choice. Do 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 do. Wait, no, that's much obligated there, bud. Okay, there. Go on and herd these little scamps of the barn for me. It's funny. This mini game is something that, like, always. <laughs> when I first played this game when I was twelve, I always had trouble, um, uh, playing this mini game. Hopefully, I don't have trouble now, cause that would be really, 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 really annoying. Anyway, I think I'm actually gonna speed up me doing this because. 
Ah, because it's gonna take me a while, so cue the music! And that takes care of all of them. Again, the, the opening to Twilight Princess is really freaking weird. Link, Epona, much obliged to both of y'all. I can cover everything tomorrow without having to trouble you. So just sit back and relax, bud. Oh, but uh, about today, want to practice with the fences? Just wait a spell, bud, and I'll get them fences set up. But yeah, um... Ooh, sorry about it so long. Okay, then. Y'all ride all you want. You get tired of riding, just jump the gate and head back into the village, okay, bud? But yeah, okay, with Skyward Sword, the opening was just as much of a drag as Twilight Princesses, but Skyward Sword's opening was mainly just story and stuff. This is just, oh, do this minigame, do this minigame, even though it literally has no point for the entire freaking story. It's like, I don't, they could have cut out all of this and been like, okay, here's your sword, here's your shield, leave, like, awkward of time. Like, I guess they had the ideas to make those mechanics more integrated in the game, and then they were like, nah, too lazy, let's just make a conventional Zelda game after. I honestly don't really get it. And that would have been a good time to stop, but I think we'll continue a bit longer. Hey, wake up, Link, it's morning already. Literally, the game could have begun with just this. The whole first day was really pointless. It could, like, this feels like an actual opening to a Zelda game where you're told to wake up, then you're in your house, and then you look around and stuff. Not what that opening was. Like, it could have just opened with this day. I don't know. I'm like Skyward Sword, though. I'm not really hating on this game that much. I just find it kind of strange, because I like this game much more than Skyward Sword, because Skyward Sword was, like, didn't feel like an actual Zelda game. This feels like an actual Zelda game but with certain things that are kind of irrelevant and drag the game. Like, Skyward Sword was just kind of a meh game. Twilight Princess is kind of a good game. Like, as Game Explain put it, it's an amazing 20-hour game, but it's dragged down by a bunch of filler and unnecessary parts, making it a kind of okay 40-hour game. But I still love those amazing parts, which is what makes me like Twilight Princess a lot. At least more than Skyward Sword, at least. Okay, so who are we talking to? By the way, these people freak me out. These two are fine, right? Well, I always thought this was a girl, but, like, this one right here, not... I always thought this was a girl, but I think this is a guy. But look at this! Look at... This is a baby, right? Let's let's talk to him. Oh, no, we're not talking to the baby. Oh, Ling, did you hear? They're selling a slingshot at the store right now. A slingshot! What are you, Josh from Chicken? Josh? I wonder how powerful it is. I need it. I must try it. Tallow, if you want mallow in it so badly, just buy it at my parents' shop. Do you see any rubies in my hand? I can't afford that thing. Come on, Beth. Just loan it to us for a while. You know I'd get in trouble for that. If you two wanted to save up your allowances or something. But our allowances are terrible. Oh, I wish I was born into a family with a slingshot instead of one with a water wheel. What family is born into a slingshot anyway? Do we have any rubies? Because we could go buy one. Anyway, so this guy right here. This freaking baby. Looks like a baby right here. He talks perfect English. I don't get what what is up with that design. They're like, oh, hey, let's make a baby that talks perfect English. Is he even supposed to be a baby or is he supposed to be a little kid? I can't really tell. Freaks me out. I think the Honest trailer made a joke about that as well. Now, where are we going? Yo, Link, up here. I want to talk to you. Press A while holding ZL so we can chat. Of course, every Zelda game has this sort of tutorial. Hey, there you go. Over here. Yeah, your voice carries well, as usual. Maybe you can teach my tykes. They, okay, you're just explaining tutorial stuff. Fine, we'll climb up the vines. Um, apparently they made vine... Oh, yeah, they made vine um, crawling uh, a lot easier. And uh, can I just say how entranced I am with the shininess and sleekness of this game? I mean, it, it does have its, like, problems that makes it look like the Wii version, but... Like, the whole, like, aesthetic just, it's just, it's just sucking me in for some reason. It's just, it's like Twilight Princess, but better. And I really like the look of Twilight Princess, even though a lot of people don't. Um, you know, with a, couldn't you? I don't know, can we get across there with a quick, uh, okay, we can. And then we pick up there, and we make another thing to, um, on that noise always, like, freaking freaked me out when I was a kid. Like, it would, like, ugh, me. Ugh. God, and 
you could tell just from the way I'm talking, just how much nostalgia I have tied to this game. Not many people has, have nostalgia tied to freaking Twilight Princess, because most people are older. But I'm actually like, I'm a bit like, I didn't really play Zelda game until the Wii came out, because I w wasn't really my in thing. But after this game, I was like hooked onto Zelda. Okay, and where are we going? We need to, we need to drive this. I mean, we need to fly this, not drive it. It's a, it's a bird, not a car. You know, let's hit this bee nest, see what happens. So I don't think it's a bee nest, is it? I don't know, we'll see. Come on, eagle, hit the nest! Okay, that just makes a bunch of pissed off bees. Are they gonna come to us? Like, how will they know where we're from? Where are you, larvae? There you are, larvae. Wait, what did this do again? I don't know. Can't even... Oh, I think we need a bottle to pick that up. I'm not sure. Let's see what's up here, though. I don't think there's anything special up here. Um... I'll get back to you guys in a second when I cut up these vines. Because even though they sped up the vine mechanic, it still feels like a drag. <laughs> oh, yep, there are rupees there. I will get you, rupees! Steady, Link. Steady. You know, I forget. Um. Oh, wow, because uh, Skyward Sword doesn't have a yellow rupee. It just has red rupee, which is 20. But this has a yellow rupee, which is cool. But I know what five rupees are, but Sky even Skyward Sword didn't notify me every time I got a rupee. But I think they, this game, and on the Wii version and GameCube version, it only notify you once when you get a rupee. I mean, it, it notify you every single time you get a rupee, kind of like with the bugs in Skyward Sword. But in this game, they just notify you once, which is really cool. So I don't, th if I ever collect those again, I don't think I'll be notified. And uh, now I need to figure out what exactly I need to do here. You know, I realize my problem. I think I'm uh, too far away for what we need to do. I didn't realize. Uh, we could go here. I thought we had to like collect the ra the rupee with the eagle. I didn't realize we could actually uh, fly there. And now we're gonna blow this once again because this blows, and we should easily be able to get the cat or whatever we're rescuing. I don't know. Again, I love this game, but the opening is so. And I'm gonna repeat it. The opening is so weird with all the random stuff we need to do. First, we need to go freaking. First, we need to like go go wrestle it, wrangling or whatever. Now we need to freaking rescue a cat with an eagle, like. I guess it's to introduce you to the eagle mechanics, but there, um, the eagle isn't really used much in later parts of uh, Twilight Princess, at least from what I can remember. Now where do we need to go? I think we need to take it back to someone, but whom? No, baby carriage! Don't drown! Don't be like Moses! Actually, I think we did this out of order. I don't think we were supposed to do this first. I think we were supposed to talk to someone first. Oh, there we go. Activated the cutscene. Oh my Link, I've been looking for that cradle! I made it when I, my first child was born, and I cherished it all these years. Did you think all this somehow? Did you find and bring it back to me on purpose? My thanks to you. That reminds me, there's something I'm supposed to give you. Do you think you could carry that cradle and come come with me back to my house, Lenny Face? Oh my god, why do you walk so- Again, this is so weird! Why do they have you like follow someone to their house? This is so pointless. Why can't we just like instantly warp there or something? Why do I have to fall? You know what? I'm screw you, lady. I'm going ahead. I'm I, I ain't got no time to wait for you. Um, what the hell? She just teleported right in front of us, or did we wait for her and they cut that out? I don't know. It's, it's so weird. And well, you got a fishing rod. There's simple fishing rod with bobber. So this is another weird thing. You're pretty much doing one thing to get another thing, and we can. And the fishing rod isn't really used much at Twilight. Just like the bird mechanic and the goat wrangling. The fishing rod isn't really used much in Twilight Princess. This whole opening, I think, is filled with ideas that they wanted to do, but never really thought of a creative idea. So they implemented the idea first, and then they didn't think about how they could expand upon it, and they didn't bother to cut it out. It's just such a, like, uh, it's such a tacky opening, in my opinion. One of the weirdest openings in any Zelda game ever. Now, where do I need to go? Another thing that bothers me about the Twilight Princess opening is it's so directionalist. I remember when I first played this as a kid, I had no idea what to do in the beginning of the game. I had to like figure it out after a while. It made me like not want to play it, though I eventually got through the weird ass opening and uh, had fun with the game. So like yeah, like if they just gave you like more hints what to do, it's kind of the opposite of Skyward Sword. They tell you too much what to do. In this game, it's like, here's a fishing rod! Now what? Oh my, it's Young Link. No, Young Link is in Smash Bros. You didn't have to see my little cat out there, did you? He ate the fish we were going to have for supper last night. And I gave him a good scolding, but then he went out and hasn't returned. I'm so fraught with worry about him. I'm so exhausted myself. Hey! 
Whoa, a go got loose! It's some I didn't put down Zodi, stop it! And here's another mechanic! Okay, I actually remember how this mechanic is used. It's used once in later Zelda games. I mean in um in later on in this game. Once more, it's not until the very, 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 very end of the game. What is the point of this tutorial? What is the point of it? Okay, so I found the cat. And let's oh it runs away. Because now that's why we need the fishing rod, because we have to use again, we have to do one favor to do another, to do another, to do another. It's really weird. So and also the fishing isn't really used much. And um oh we gotta catch our did we fail that? I don't really know. Uh fish on! That's right, and now what do we need to do? It's not even specific what we need to do. I think as a kid I remember um having trouble with the fishing mechanics as well because I don't know what to do when it says fish on. Do you like tap why? It doesn't give us instructions. Alright, nope, we messed it up. We have to wait for it to go. Like normal fishing, we have to wait for it to go um all the way to the bottom. And then we okay, we have to wait for it to sink and now. Nope. Still still screwed that up. Fish on! Okay, yeah, well, we have to tap Y. Doesn't really save a tap. I'm not very good at button mashing, but I must do this! This is harder than I remembered! Oh my god, can we do this? I don't think we're gonna do it because my gamepad's not vibrating as much as it was earlier! And! Did we get it? I think we're getting closer! Or did we miss it? Did we miss it? We missed. Oh wait, no, no, no! It's still on, I think! No, it's not. We missed. We screwed that up. How did we screw that up? I'm so sad. Oh, we have to hold it, not tap it! Again, why wasn't it so... Why wasn't it specific what we need to do? Oh, uh, whatever. And now, okay, so in um, Twilight Princess, it's really, you have to do it twice before the cat snatches it, and this is only one, so I guess that saves a little tiny, tiny bit of time on this weird opening. Just, just a, like a tiny bit. Out of all the things they could have cut, they cut that for some reason. They, they could have just like cut like everything and just started it with the opening on the second day, and then going forward. But no, <laughs> but no, we still have to do all the pointless stuff before that doesn't have any significance for the rest of the game. Again, I really like this game, just the opening. Even the opening is kind of fun, I don't have a problem with it. It's just really weird about what the, what specific things we need to do in order to progress. Oh my Link, you simply must hear this. Just take a look, my kitty Link came back. Your kitty's also named Link? You want to fish with me? He was worried about me being angry. Or we caught a him and he's a cat and cats suck. Seriously, I'm not a really a big fan of cats. I'm much a big fan of dogs. In fact, my dog's in this room with me right now, and I'm sh and I'm just petting him on the head. He keeps chewing my wires, and I'm like, no, Axel, no. Now he's trying to bite my hand, and that's enough about my dog. No, don't bite my wires, Axel. And now we got a bottle, and and you know, I think that's enough for this episode. Um, thank you for watching. If you like what you saw, you could actually watch another Let's Play I'm doing of um. Skyward Sword right now, which you can get to the first episode by clicking the eye in the top right corner. You can also get a link to all these playlists by clicking the boxes right here in order to get to them. Later.